Hello everybody and welcome to another day here on Cabalus on my ARC server. So, as you can see, I've been a little busy. I have Highland cows everywhere. Look, there's literally just a random one down there chilling. I have the start of my ARC chateau. I'm on this like chateau trend in survival games. But I thought I would just give you a quick tour of what I've been doing before we go and do the goal of today's video, which will be to tame an otter because I found where they spawn. Um, so I wasn't kidding when I said I'm a little inundated with cows. They are absolutely everywhere, but my cows are getting a little beefy, if you know what I mean. They're getting some pretty good stats. Um, so like this one, without putting any points in, is at 375.1% melee. Uh oh, am I hearing drama? Is stuff getting attacked? Uh, anyway, this one also has the uh, white gene mutation. So they've gone from this like peachy color to the albino variant, which is kind of cool. I also, up here, I can't get to it because I'm blocked by cows and badly need to expand. I was able to tame. Oh, where'd it go? The Shimmer Unicorn. So I named it Doodle. It's 132 as far as levels go. And I found out, I was talking to my kids and they saw the unicorn poop on the floor and it's like rainbow colored poop. And they thought it was so funny and so I decided to eat it. And turns out it doesn't kill you, it actually gives you an experience buff. So I thought that that was really cute. But anyway, that's what my small barn is looking like. These are some more cows that I've bred. There's another one with the white mutation. And then we come through these beautiful modded uh, archway areas into what is going to be my chateau. So I also have the greenhouse like I was talking about in the last episode, finding all of that great cementing paste. But here's how things are looking. This is my new workshop shack everything's in here all the workbenches everything you could need this is my half finished um like advanced workshop so like all of the bigger stuff like i think it's called the fabricator soul terminal um probably put my shoulder pets in here which we're gonna do today we're gonna get the otter hopefully and then look there's even this really cool hallway that goes into my greenhouse and of course, um, I've let it go dormant for now because look at everything I've been able to farm. And a lot of this stuff is really similar to Atlas, so I figured I wouldn't show too much of it on here because most of you playing are kind of uh, ARC veterans and I'm the newbie in this case. And uh, it was a familiar thing to me, so I didn't think I would showcase it. But what is not familiar to me is taming otters. So that's definitely what we're gonna try and do. There I go with the inventory again. Mel's right, I do need to just change that. Um, do I need to worry about food while I'm out there? No, I don't think I do actually. Let's put my little chibi on. What I do wanna do is grab a few of my higher tier blueprints to take out there with me because I am gonna need to kill some fish as far as I know in order to do this, in order to do this successfully. So we have this mod, it's called the upgrade station and it can upgrade stuff, see, while also repairing it. So now I have, oh, I need more metal ingot, that's fine. I don't need to do that right now. But anyway, now I have a good spear to go poke some fish with. As you can see, I haven't completely like advanced my, uh, my gear yet. I'm still kind of taking it slow because there's so much to learn, it's been, overwhelming but in a good way uh so anyway we are headed this way because what i've been doing is i've been running back and forth on my cows to the ruins that have all of the vegetables Ooh, please tell me it's a low level horse so i don't need to tame it okay good it's only level 20. i don't have any carrots with me anyway oh no there's horses everywhere see this is what happens is oh that's 130 that's 15. Oh, I'm trying to not keep taming more horses, but it's really hard for me as a horse person. Because in real life, you can't just go around collecting horses unless you have like a lot of money. 
um, and endless resources on your on your farm or on your property or someone to keep them for you. I'm lucky enough that I do have a farm where I can keep horses, but keeping them isn't the problem. It's is that friendly dino? Um, sorry, anyway, keeping them isn't the problem. It's uh, the cost that comes with their maintenance and everything. One day, I will work up to the point where I can have a medium-sized operation here on the farm. For now, I just have two, two ponies. I call them ponies. One's a horse, one's a pony. Okay, that's not gonna hurt me. Uh-oh, what's everything running from? Oh, what is this? Help! I don't even know which of my cows I'm on, but... Some kind of... Watch this, watch my right-click attack. It pushes them back, and I don't know what that does, but... Terror bird. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got rid of that. There's another one over here I should probably go take care of, just so that it's not bugging me. As I'm trying to tame the nearby otter. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill that parasaur now too, aren't I? Let's kick both of them. Kick! Yep. See how powerful that kick is? Like, that just... It demolishes stuff. And I'm gonna take all of this hide because I'm gonna cook it. Highland cow has leveled up. So yeah, see, he's up at 438% melee damage already. So, that's pretty good to me as a newish player. And that's just from a few rounds of breeding. Ooh, we've got some scary cats that we're gonna have to take out here. Sorry, kitty cat. Let's kick it. Can we kick it? Yep. So the kick just... That kind of does it. <laughs> uh, Mel and Night Screamer, like, you might have to, like, take, um, take tames from other people to bring with you to do the boss fights. And I'm like, guys, you're underestimating my cows. Like, my, my Highland cows, like, they're strong. They're really strong. All right, where's my otter? So we've got fish in here. This is where I saw the otter spawn the other day. Let's go over this little land bridge. Maybe they're on the other side of the pond. I put down a bed and a thatched foundation somewhere over here. I'm not sure if it's still around. I'm kind of hoping it is. So I don't have to do it again. Yeah, look at all these fish. All right. Is that the otter over there? Might just be. We might have found it. Yeah, and here's my bed. Okay, so this is going to be my little outpost for catching my first shoulder pet. Question is, is that it? That is. That's a little female otter buddy. Okay, so I need to put my cow on passive or neutral because it's already on neutral. Okay, because it will just attack the heck out of anything that I attack, which isn't a bad thing, but when I need to keep the fish meat in order to, um, well, drag the fish over in order to tame the thingy, you know. And then I'm gonna put this on my bar. Let's see, I'll put my little scuba mask on. Ooh, that changes, changes the way I see things. That's kind of interesting. All right, <laughs> look at me. Prepared. Prepared to, to scuba. Alright, so the otter's over here. Uh, the fish are all over there. The otter is over here. So I'm going to have to do my fair share of dragging fish. So here we go. I'm guessing some of these are going to be piranha. Yeah, look, this one's a piranha. Okay. Oop, drag body. Drag, hello. Drag body. There we go. All right. We'll bring this guy over. Over to the otter. Okay. Uh, he's over here, right? Yeah, there he is, little buddy. Hopefully this isn't too long of a process. Like, oh. Oh, no. Shoot. Feed fish. 
Okay, nice. All right, let's go get a few more. Oh, this is exciting. It's working. The plan is working. All right, let's go get... Um, this one looks like a beached piranha. Kind of. Oh, no! Shoot. There we go. Wow, it is easy to kill these with my Ascendant Spear. It's kind of fun. I like the scuba, uh, the way the scuba mask looks. I'm dragging a heck of a fish, man. This thing's huge. Just flopping around down there. Come here, little otter friend. Oh yes, come this way. Come on. Alright. I gotta get rid of this. Okay. Come on. Feed fish. What are we at now? Oh, we're almost there. Okay, I think one more fish and we're gonna have an otter tame. And Night Scream said that um, I should tame a male and a female and try breeding them. So I might... Oops. Might try doing that. Alright, buddy. Buddy old fishy pal friend. Coming for you. Alright. Last one. Man, I thought this was going to be way more difficult. This wasn't so bad after all, huh? I just got to make sure I find my otter friend. Is that it? Over there? Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see, 79.9% tamed. And... Don't swim away. This takes forever enough as it is. Don't swim away. Come back. Oh. Where'd it go? Shoot. Otter friend? There you are. Come back. The glare of the sun makes it hard to see. Oh my gosh, stop. Come back. Please, I swear, I have something good for you. Nice. Collar squeaks. Hey, look at this. We have an otter. Uh oh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> it said pick up. I was assuming it would go on my shoulders, which it did, but for a second there, it looked like I actually picked it up. Look at this. I have a little otter wrapped around me. I don't know what photo mode is. Trident says press K. Yay, thank you. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. I have an otter friend. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I love this game so much. Like, this is so fun. My little otter.